And we have new details on an overnight house fire that officials say was an act of arson. The person of interest was also wanted out of Simpsonville for attempted murder charges. Police there identified him as Robert Burton. They say he strangled a woman at a motel. The property records list Burton's address as the home that caught fire. But Greenville County investigators say it's too early in their investigation to confirm he is the person of interest. Fox Carolina's Haley Spittler shows us the aftermath of the scene today. It was a busy scene overnight here in Piedmont where a fire was called in just around 11 p.m. We do know that a person of interest is in custody and that person of interest was also wanted out of Simpsonville on attempted murder charges. Well, we did go ahead and map this out for you where exactly it happened. This is a home along Pine Drive in Piedmont. It's not too far from Highway 25 and I-185. It's about 20 minutes away from downtown Greenville. The 911 call reported multiple people were trapped trapped inside the home. We're told the fire started from an explosion. The flames all put out and everyone was able to get out safely. Now, one person was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. And as the sun has risen, you can tell that there is significant damage to this home, especially on that second floor and to the roof, which is basically just a hole now. Well, investigators say a person of interest was found on the back side of the property and also taken to the hospital. Deputies say they discovered that suspect also wanted out of Simpsonville for attempted murder charges. Now, all morning long, we have seen a number of investigators and officials arrive on scene and begin kind of surveying the damage, taking some photos of what they're finding as they put together this arson case and try and look for answers. Of course, Fox Carolina will bring you any first alert updates as we get them. For now, in Piedmont, Haley Spittler, Fox Carolina News.